this view is actually not too shabby. It seems very peaceful over here because there's no noise. But hey, to the topic at hand. what's going on it's your boy Jed again thanks for coming back to another video this is actually the second time I've done this video first time I did it I went to a parking garage but it was right next to the freeway so like the, the camera the, the mic picked up all the road noise all the uh, from the highway and stuff so I, I just scrapped it all because it was just it just was not not that great in terms of uh, footage in this video I'm gonna talk about what I've done to the RSX thus far after a bet a little bit over a year of ownership and things I do plan on doing for it in the near future, near-ish future or something. I haven't done a video like this about the RSX in a long time, pretty much since the beginning almost. Um, thing is with the state of my life, finances, stuff like that, like content's kind of hard to come by because, you know. So I figured, you know what, I might, I might as well do a vlog in a different direction. One to where I talk about the car or whatever, you know, rather than like doing something. So it's something different, you know. All right, so first and foremost, it's appearance, how it looks. I had my boy Gian from Rap Vibes. He's been on the channel a couple times. Uh, he wrapped the hood in this direction and, the, and a little bit of the bumper uh, in this direction. Uh, also helped me with tinting headlights yellow. As you can see here, I have the uh, Honda, red Honda and, and the Type S in the grill. One thing I'll probably do in the future is get rid of that. I, I, kind of want to go kind of badgeless. Uh, I'll probably just get rid of this whole grill or sell it or something. Uh, also because it connects to a part inside, I'll, I'll show you, but it connects inside under the hood to where the hood latch is. The thing is I plan on deleting that and running actual like this quick disconnect hood latches. One of my sponsors decals on here, Master R. I did a video recently about me installing this lip. I did seal it with Gorilla tape and then I did this with the Gorilla tape too just because When I brought the Gorilla tape over here and it ruined the line like it looked weird So I just covered it all up with, by just blacking out this whole center part of the grill here in the top Gian also wrapped the hood black Got a Lexan panel from YNS Lexan because I broke the, the rear glass if you guys remember that The hatch is also black with the red Honda symbol Probably sell that too. probably sell this type S badge too. I still have the same unpainted, you know, Type R spoiler or whatever it is that came with the car. I do want to get an actual wing eventually. I mean, I don't care what it is, even I don't care if it's a moving rip because I, on track, want the benefits of a wing rather than a spoiler. In case you haven't noticed, this is a 2003, but the back and the front have been converted. The uh, rear bumper I cut, and then for wheels and tires, I'm running square setup, 17 by 8 plus 35 Koenig hypergrams in the gray, Firestone Firehawk Indy 500s, the 300 Treadwear summer tires. They are 245, 40, 17. I do plan on going slightly bigger on the wheel size and the tire size, going up to 255, and then going wider with 17 by 9s. Although I'm not sure if I want to do that square or just stagger it, like 17 by 9s up here then leave these alone. Yeah, my other sponsor, Vibe Autosports. My number, my name, pretty much it. I, I haven't, it's a track car. Uh, I'm all about function over form, really. Uh, if there is form, it has to have a function. <laughs> Windows tinted, I have the sun visors. Those all came with the car. All right, so under the hood, yes, I, I do run Amsoil Signature and Amsoil Sync Permission, the transmission. This cold air intake or ram air, whatever you want to call it, came with the car. I just haven't, you know, changed it out or anything. I do plan on changing them out. Uh, there's my catch can, just some cheap one off Amazon. I do have a strut brace in the front, along with the OEM one. It just so happens that there's space for both. So <laughs> I do plan on an eventually uh, changing that out for a full solid four-point strut bar that is in one solid piece that connects both here and to the firewall so I could replace both of them. I got that strut brace um, secondhand, so I don't know what brand it is. He said it might be a moving red, but who knows. Uh, but under the hood, I haven't done really anything. I have done the innovative 
uh, 75A durometer uh, mounts. It's kind of hard to see, it's, it's not a lot of light in here. Pretty much mostly under the hood is stock because I want this car to be as reliable as possible. It has 145K miles on it now. I bought it at like 142 or 143,000 miles a year ago. So I haven't drove it a lot. I only drive it like once a week pretty much on the streets. And then I drive it hard on the track when I can. I have done a bunch of little transmission works here and there on the transmission and the, sh and the OEM shifter. Uh, you can look those up on my channel. I did like hybrid racing springs and stuff like that. I do plan though getting a custom made headlight inlet. Relocate, relocate this battery somewhere, probably in the back or something. Custom make a short ram intake that goes right here behind the headlight so that way I have this whole you know, efficient cold air intake type of thing. And then change out that OEM intake manifold to an RBC if I could get my hands on a, a skunk one or you know whatever I could get my hands on. I'm still considering deleting my power steering, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I want to keep AC for as long as I can. I also want to do a aftermarket fuel rail bigger inject injectors and then tune the car with K-Pro and I do have an NVIDIA long tube race header that goes into a custom 3 inch exhaust with a vibrant ultra quiet resonator and a vibrant 3 inch muffler. It's not too loud but it's also like how a proper K series engine should, should sound like. I have hard race rear camber bolts or camber kits and hard race uh, lower control arms. A progress 22 millimeter rear sway bar also the subframe brace or whatever it's called I do plan on getting a, a better bigger and better coil rad uh, radiator to help with cooling that's why I'm gonna get rid of this you can't see it it's kind of dark back there but I did also do the k-tuned inverted spherical tie rod set adjustable tie rod set I do plan in the future eventually I, there, there is a slight leak in my transmission so I need to replace a seal or two in, in there but while I'm in there I do want to replace it with new synchros hopefully the gears are actually good so I don't have to replace those but new synchros new seals I have a new clutch new flywheel waiting um, I also want to source myself an LSD throw all that in before putting the transmission back on I think the LSD will be one of the top things that help me out on the track. Oh, in terms of a uh, brake fluid, I am running just Type 200. I used to have OEM Type R brake ducts from ICB Motorsports. I lost one of them at uh, the track, so I just took them all off. Um, I do plan on getting an actual block off plate for these, because even with like a fog light or whatever there, these do cause a little bit of drag from what I've been told. Cause it's like, it's basically a pocket where air can get caught. So I do want to get a uh, block off plate for that. A brake duct kit that comes out from here or something. I'm not sure yet. Uh, speaking of brakes, I run R1 Concept slotted brake rotors, Hawk HP Plus pads, StopTech stainless steel lines. That's all four corners. And in terms of suspension, I mentioned Meister R. I'm running their top of the line Club Race GT1s uh, with their new valving technology. Um, at the time, I was, which was the beginning of this year, I, I think I was the first DC5 that I know of that was running this suspension with a new valving. So not to brag or anything, but in terms of in the future, I do plan on, on either getting or making a, an actual s real splitter to go under this lip. I'm not sure what I want to do with that yet. I'm, I'm leaning towards dev sport just because it's the simplest, like it's not that expensive and it's, you know, it's, it's all about finding a, how to bolt it on and stuff like that. And then I do want some PCI uh, side skirts. And I'm, I'm, I do want to run a, a rear diffuser, but I just don't know where to get one and what to run. Because hardly anyone makes, you know, rear diffusers for this car for some reason. Most people just, you know, make it themselves, but I don't know if I'll have the material or the know-how to do all that. So I do want to also run front canards. Also plan on modifying my OEM fenders. Like cut, cut, fold, weld some plating for rigidity, and then also add some venting here. The back is gutted almost fully. I still have like side panels and stuff in. Eventually I'll take those out, but sound deadening seats, they're gone. All this is gone. This is just, you know, tools and stuff. You can see here the rear strut brace. It's, the, it's in the same vein as the front one. So, and then a C-pillar bar. When I start competing, I do want to eventually like do a whole cage 
In terms of interior, I do eventually want to replace these doors with actual door cards. I want to replace these OEM seats with actual like bucket seats, like race bucket seats. I guess you could see I, I did a whole like LED light thing with this car in terms of interior and stuff. It was like one of my first videos. I don't want to gut the front because I do want some semblance of street ability on this, in this car. I do plan on pursuing any and all street uh, classes in whatever organizations I decide to race in, whether it's Grid Life, NASA, whatever. This uh, stock radio, it does not work. Um, it's telling me to put in the code and I haven't gone to a dealership to do that because I don't, honestly, I just don't care. Originally, I did plan on, on just replacing it with a double din, but now that I'm just getting so much more into track, I'm just gonna delete it. Hopefully next week, getting the final piece for that job in the next few days from DC5R Parts. You know, look them up on Instagram and YouTube. There's a lot of good videos and stuff and good content. This is still the OEM shifter, but I've done quite a few modifications to it. So it's not that bad for an OEM shifter anymore. But eventually, I do want to replace the cables and the shifter itself with hybrid racing stuff. Probably after I'm done with the transmission. Man, I really want to change out this stock steering wheel. The way I sit, in terms of like my positioning from the pedals, this sits way too far in front of me. So I do want to get a new steering wheel setup. That one that's a little bit closer to me. I already kind of know what I want. A uh, Works Bell Boss, uh, not the short one, but the, the, the normal one. And the Works Bell Tilt Hub. And I'll probably run like a Momo. Whatever I can get my hands on. And I do also plan on getting a harness and for both seats eventually, but not until I get like a harness bar or some kind of thing to hook the harnesses to. And there's a multitude of chassis mods I want to do to this car. I wanted to have been done that, but the, you know, like I said, finances is the way the life is right now. I just haven't been able to get those. The big things like suspension, uh, brakes, tires, and wheels. A lot of stuff I did are little things to not, not only fix the car in terms of like if it had problems, but to modify and make better for a better driver experience and whatnot. My money also went to consumables like oil, uh, transmission fluid, brake fluid, and then another chunk of my money went to actual seat time, which is actually the, probably the more important part. You can mod your car all you want, but if you don't know how to drive it at, at, to the limits, then that's one thing that people get twisted. You know, seat time over anything else if you're pursuing track. Mod as you go, you know. All right, guys, so that's about it. Nothing too crazy of a video or anything, just me talking about the car. If I did miss anything, I would have annotated it by now as you watch the video. I should be getting that, you know, last pieces of my radio delete job. I do plan on doing a video reviewing my car, you know, an owner's review kind of thing. Um, might do that. I hope I can do this, but finances are making it really hard right now. But Grid Life is coming to New Orleans, November, beginning of November. Steve and then like a couple other of our buddies already signed up to drive the HPD. Not the time attack because we're not we're not there yet. HPD, kind of like what I did at the NASA event earlier in the year. They've already signed up for it. I want to sign up for it, but finances are kicking my ass right now. So I really really hope I can I could sign up before they run out of spots. You know, to go do that. I mean, if I can't, I'll still go make a vlog about it. You know, all that stuff just to experience it. But I really would like to drive because it's one of the ones that I've been wanting to drive on for a while now. So I want to experience the NOLA, you know, raceway and experience real life, you know, as a driver rather than a spectator. Hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, you know, that I could I could afford that and then get the car ready to do that when I uh, when I can. But yeah, that's it, guys. You know, if you like this video, please hit like, subscribe if you haven't to see more. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, you know, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.